Okay, so one of the first things that you're going to want to do if you want to downgrade is uh, you want to go into Cydia and you want to confirm that you actually have your uh, blobs on Cydia. This is really easy to do. Go into Cydia, wait for it to load, which I think takes forever. Ignore the upgrades for now. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, and this is what you're looking for right here. This device has SHSH is on file for i for iPhone OS and iOS 4.0. Okay, you see this, and it doesn't necessarily have to say 4.0. It could say 3.1 or whatever. But if you see this, that means that your blobs are backed up to Cydia server, and you should be able to downgrade. All right, so one of the first things you want to do is you want to go ahead and, and uh, get your uh, firmware. Uh, the easiest way to do that that I'm aware of is to just go to Google and uh, type this in, uh, Felix um, Bruns, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you click on it, and here you can see there's your iPod. Here's your iPhone, iTouch, iPad. Uh, all you have to do is hit the download or probably pardon me hit the drop down arrow and then scroll down find your device 3G or first gen iPhone 3G 3GS iPhone 4 iTouch iPod touch whatever the case may be uh find it download it uh save it somewhere where you're going to remember remember where it's at a uh, desktop or a particular folder okay now my computer I'm running Windows 7 so it may be a little bit different but for the most part it's pretty much the same it's not going to vary very much uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to go to start and first I would go to my notepad now your notepad may not be listed like mine as I use it so much so it's here so you may have to go to all programs accessories and notepad but what you want to do is go to notepad you want to right click if you're a Vista or a, a Windows 7 person you want to hit run as administrator okay and then you can go ahead and close that. The next thing you want to do is go to your computer, click on the top, and then you want to type this in C slash Windows slash System32 slash Drivers slash ETC slash Host. Okay. Now I didn't have to type this in because mine was already there. Then you hit Enter. If it asks you what do you want to open it with, open it with Notepad. Okay, so here's an example of what you should see uh, when you go into your host. You'll see something similar to this. And then what you need to do is put the 74.208.10.249 space gs.apple.com. And then you're going to hit file and you're going to hit save. Okay. And that's how you basically trick iTunes into looking at Cydia server when it's when it goes to verify uh, the firmware so that way you won't get an error saying that you can't that you have to use a newer firmware this will allow you to downgrade to the older firmware okay the first thing you want to make sure is that you're connected to your computer via the USB cable and the device is on and then you want to press and hold the power button to power it off once it's off you're gonna press the home and the power buttons at the same time press and hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds release the power button continue to hold the home button for 10 seconds and you're in DFU mode okay and while you're iPhone is in DFU mode. You will see this on your screen. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode and you must restore it before it can be used with iTunes. So you want to hit OK. And at this point, this is where you're going to hit Shift and then you're going to click Restore. So hold Shift and then click Restore. Okay, so on mine, I hit Control Shift and I get a list of all um, iPhone 3G firmware. Now, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to 3.1.3 select it and then I'm going to hit open and then you're gonna see that it's going to extract the software 
and then it's going to go about installing it. Okay, so the restore is moving right along. Now, normally it won't go this quick. It's going to take longer. I, of course, didn't record the whole thing. Now, here's an important part where it goes to verify the software. This is usually when it gives you an error because it's not the latest software. If you get a, like a 10.15 error, usually it means that 3.1.3 has been restored, but it, it doesn't actually want to boot up the phone. So the phone is kind of stuck in limbo to where it doesn't want to boot up. And there is a way around that, and I'll show you that. Okay, and there you go. There's the 10.15 error. So that's you. that's a good thing, okay? So basically what you're going to see now is that if you look at the phone, the firmware has been installed, but it's going to be stuck in the mode to where it tells you to connect to iTunes. So it's going to be stuck kind of like in the DFU mode. So for that, we're just going to hit OK. All right, so to get iRib, uh, you used to be able to go to High Snow or, or I Hate Snow, uh, I believe that's what it was called, to get it. But for some reason, when you go there now, it says it's set to private and you can't download it. So I found another source that you can download it from. And there it is right there. Once you go there, you'll see that it's uh, I hate snow dash irib version 3.1.2 for Windows zip, and you'll go ahead and download that. Now, I already downloaded that, so I don't need it, so I'm not going to download it. Okay. Uh, once you download it and save it to your computer, you're going to see it right right here in a zip file. You want to go ahead and extract this zip file. I assume that everybody knows how to do that, but extract the zip file. The easiest place uh, to remember where the zip or where you, this program is going to be, in my opinion, is to just put it on the desktop. Okay. Um, once you have it on the desktop, you're going to uh, you're going to want to run the program. Now, once you run the program, you see one of the things it says here is fix recovery recovery loop mode. Okay, so you want to go ahead and you want to select your device, which is 3G, and then you're going to select to fix the recovery loop. Now it's going to ask you if you've installed the lib USB. Uh, if you have, great. If you haven't, hit no. It's going to ask you for your operating system. You go ahead and choose what operating system. In my case, it's Windows 7. You'll then click this link to download it, which I've already done, as you can see up here. Okay. And then you're going to right click, go to properties, 
go to compatibility check run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then check Windows XP Service Pack 2 and hit OK okay and once you've done all that you click on this okay I finally have lib USB installed this of course may make some of your USB devices disconnect for a moment but then they'll reconnect once you do that you'll see on the screen of your iPhone it will then have the white bar go across the top and then if you open up iTunes it should hopefully connect and then on your iPhone screen you should then see to where it's in normal operating mode and there you go the iPhone is no longer stuck in recovery mode after the 1015 error go into settings I will go into general about and there you go back down at 3.1.3 .3. Okay, now after you're done with getting your iPhone back into normal operating mode, what you'll want to do is go ahead and use the new jailbreak. Now, you can use the old jailbreak tools if you like. I, I don't see any problem with doing that. Um, but, of course, the newer one is easier. Uh, open up Safari and then go to jailbreakme.com and then go ahead and hit go. alright and there you go go ahead and do the slide to jailbreak Alright, so now it's been downloaded, and you can see it's jailbreaking. And there you go, it has installed. So, Cydia has been added to the home screen. Have fun. Tap OK. No need to reboot. And there we go. There you have City right there. Now you're welcome to go ahead and reopen iTunes, resync from your backup that hopefully you did before uh, you did any downgrading or upgrading, and then you should be good to go.